Time for more Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Last time we recruited two more of the Enclave Remnants and begin the, began the journey to recruit the fifth and final one. Uh, we also searched the Ruby Hill mine there and got quite a bit of gear out of it. A lot of explosives and stuff. And actually, you know what? I'm probably going to drop a few of those because we don't need everything that we got in there. I mean, I'm talking about the junk stuff. I'll keep those, though. Uh, what else do I not need? Don't need a leather belt. Can't drop that. That's stupid. Don't need that. Don't need that or that. Don't need that. Man, there's so much stuff you should be able to drop. Okay, that'll at least give us a little bit more carry weight. And maybe some scavenger that comes up here one day will want it. I don't know. Okay, so we we're probably halfway there. I'm not going to kill any more of the Brahmin as long, or the big corners because they're not attacking us and I don't feel like wasting the ammo. We did get a nice unique weapon out of all that though. I don't know if I'll sell it or keep it in my house, but whatever I do with it, it'll serve me in some way, or shape, or form. Look at this, guys. Green trees. That's kind of awesome. Some green in the wasteland. That's always kind of a nice thing. I can't remember how many other places in this game have green in them. Because I know it's hardly even seen at all in Fallout 3. The Remnants Bunker is around here somewhere. It's sort of that way, I believe. But we're not going to worry about that until we can recruit our final remnant anyway. That over there is one of the ranger stations. Ranger Station Foxtrot, I believe. So, not going to discuss that or worry about that right now. You, there is a side quest that has to do with all of those ranger stations, but I mean, I don't have time to do that now. Hey! No point in really scavenging the mantises. They don't have anything really worth taking. Die. Alright, let's keep going. Man, there's so many giant mantises out here. There's such a waste of game programming space and ammo and stuff. They don't do anything. They're just more annoying than anything. They're kind of like mole rats from Fallout 3. They don't really do much to you. Let's have some muted cave fungus for dinner. Heal up a little bit. Did I even hit him? Eh, I helped. I just wanted to see how that would work. Okay. We're almost at Jacobstown, at least, which is good. Then we can finally get started on this part of the quest. It'll probably take at least the... It'll probably take this full video, though, to do. If not even a little bit more. So, yeah, it's, it's a slightly longer quest. Also, the last of the snow globes can be found here as well. It's the last of the seven main snow globes. There's also one in every DLC. So keep that in mind if you wish to find it for Mr. House's file. Hello, Super Mutant. And over here we have a very, very cool Easter egg. You're free. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at this. Uh, this guy right here. Our Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steep. Okay, good to know. This guy right here is Marcus, the super mutant that I believe was in Fallout 2. So that is actually a very, very cool Easter egg. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're not here just to catch up with a, an old super mutant friend from a previous Fallout game. We're here for a different purpose, and that is to recruit the fifth and final remnant. Dr. Henry, I believe, is his name.
Alright, so for this, there... You might have also seen a slightly... Actually, no, never mind. That's a Nightkin anyway. Okay, so this is our doctor. Hello. I assume... Arcade Ganon has asked me to gather all the former members of the Enclave. You must have something important in mind. Help me get my research to a stage where I can hand it over to my assistant, Calamity. Okay, what are you working on? The Nightkin have... I'm currently investigating the local Night Stark. I've also gotten my hands on a working Stealth Boy Mark II prototype. But that ex... I'd like to help. I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one. And I need... Some of the super mutants have looked around as well. But Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few... Ah, uh, does Stealth Boy use hurt humans? It's possible. But I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any... Its negative effects are more pronounced. Okay, why are you helping them? Because Marcus asked me to. And because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning. Okay. The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer. But, however, these pronounced effects... Huh? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, start up this quest. Guess who I saw today? Look for the source of the Night Stalker stealth mutation. We do not need to make Lily come with us, and because if we did that, it would... We would then have to kick Ganon out temporarily, and I'd rather just not take any risks with this quest. Because we're so close to the end. <sighs> yeah, we're just so close to the end, I just can't risk taking any risks. And there's actually snow up here as well, which is really cool. Wow, that was not intended to be a pun, but whatever. Save over a file here, just in case some mistakes are made in this. So, ask Lily if you wish to have her come with you, but like I said, we're not going to worry about that. That's Lily. She is also a potential follower, and a very, very good follower to get if you are pursuing a Legion file. Because with all of them, like, I mean, Ganon won't come with you if you're Legion, or it's difficult to make him, for that matter. Got a problem. Could use your help. Been having... Uh... They've been killing your Bighorners, you're sure? Yes, I can't say for sure if they're NCM. What do you want me to do? You're human. I'm not asking you to kill them. I'll see what I can do. Well, since this is a very short side quest, I might as well go ahead and do it. Our business is with the... Uh, go away or you'll have to deal with me and you'll wish you were fighting super mutants. I've always known when to fight and when to back. To My men and I are leaving. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. Now we just gotta return to Marcus and tell him that they're gone. Very, very easy little side quest. A little bit of money and stuff probably from it. Marcus, okay. Something on your mind? Uh, you won't have any more trouble with the Mercs. Good. Let if NCR or all right. I have got a different side quest to work on now, Marcus. I am trying to help out the other human here. Hollowed out rock. Uh, these I can't remember if we found any before. There, there's a lot more of them in this game than the one that was in Fallout Three, outside of Megaton. But they're really, really useless. There's hardly anything in them ever. So, I don't really suggest going around looking for them. They're pretty useless. If you want to, it's not like I'm stopping you, but there isn't really that much good stuff you can get out of them, so I just wouldn't suggest wasting time with it. Yeah, that, that mercenary better walk away from me, because look at me. I'm wearing freaking Brotherhood of Steel armor. Any person with any intelligence would not fight somebody who either A, is a member of the Brotherhood, or B killed someone that's part of the Brotherhood and took their armor. So I'm just saying he made a very smart decision. He will not have to fight them and die or any other issues. 
but you can kill him if you want. You can also pay him off, and I believe Marcus will actually give you some caps to pay him off with if that ends up being your final decision. But I'd rather just do it the fastest possible way and get the XP for it more than the caps. I mean, I've got 50, like, maybe 53,000 caps or something. I don't need the money. I just need the XP, though, to level up. Higher the levels I can get, the better. Okay, we are up here now to the cave. If everything goes right, we might be able to finish up this quest in this video. And another hollowed out rock, seriously? With, you see what I mean? There's just crap in it, nothing helpful. The Charleston Cave, let's roll guys. We gotta figure out what the source of the Night Stalker mutation is. Oh great, Night Stalkers. You guys remember how much fun I had with them in Big Mountain. But I do want to do a little scavenging too, because I know that there is a bit. Yes, the Night Stalkers are now invisible. But they are also not as tough as the ones in Big Mountain. They're back to their normal degree of toughness. They aren't nearly as difficult to kill as they were in Big Mountain. Which is a good thing. Now watch me... Oh wait, no, it's only a 65% chance, so I'm not even going to risk it. When you get up to 100 lockpick skill, you'll be able to force open very easy locks every time, and usually easy locks as well. Okay, nothing else here. So yeah, this isn't too bad now because of, like I said, these Night Stalkers aren't nearly as tough as the ones up in Big Mountain. Plus, I believe we got that perk a while back in Big Mountain that should boost our damage against them. Skeletons, and none of them are... Okay, this room is appears to be useless, but I could have easily missed something here. But we're just going to look around the entire cave. I just wish the video quality would be better in dark areas, but whatever. Water. I'm too lazy to put on my rebreather, especially considering the water isn't even deep enough to Looks like break time's over. get uh, to make you drown. Oh wow, that Night Stalker's glitched. Okay, he's dead. I believe this may be the room that we are trying to go to. <coughs> huh. Don't know why I'm coughing. Anything here? This is what we are looking for, right here. The Chewed Stealth Boy. And the Oh Baby uh, unique weapon. Might as well take it. Okay, so... The Chewed Stealth Boy means that those Night Stalkers are probably eating the Stealth Boy, which is probably not a very healthy thing to do. And after eating said Stealth Boy, they have reproduced, and the new versions of them have Stealth capabilities. Hmm, that Night Stalker was a little tougher, but then again, I also have followers with me now, which definitely helps. So now we just gotta get out of here, and we've gotta level up. And it's going to let me go ahead and level up. Okay, what to take? Five more to explosives. Five more to unarmed. Every skill is at, at least 60, aside from explosives. Let's go ahead and... Every skill is at at least 60. That's a good thing. And we'll put our last point into energy weapons. What perk to take? Oh, great. Here comes the very boring me trying to pick a perk for 10 minutes scene. Ooh, that's actually not too bad, but I don't think I'm going to take it. Nah. Might take this fight the power. Ooh, that's not bad. That's actually not too bad either. No.
Okay, that's kind of stupid. Uh... And it looks like that's everything, so where was it? I'm going to take, uh, where was it? This one. It's not super, super helpful, but it will help me fight the Legion, so why not? But now that I've sort of gotten all my skills up to about 60, I'm probably going to finish out upgrading a couple of them. In the future, I'm probably just going to, like, fully upgrade. I've only got 10 levels left, which means only 160 more skill points to give away. And only 5 more perks to pick. So, what I probably want to do with that is go ahead and pretty much get everything that I want to be at a really high level up to that maximum level. Like, approximately, like, about 95-ish on some of those skills because I might still find skill books for them and stuff. So go ahead and get, like, Guns, Barter, Speech, some of those up to, like, a 95-ish. And that should be able to get me pretty much any perk. Because I believe no perk requires more than a 90 in any specific field. Then again, though, it may require a higher of a special skill. <coughs> Thought I got over this cold already. Okay, whatever. Let's keep going. Well, at least I'm going to meet my goal of finishing the Let's Play in under 100 videos, including those two DLCs. Let's go ahead and talk to Dr. Henry and finish up this quest, or this part of the quest. Then we still need to do For Auld Lang Syne, which isn't too, too much more. That may end up being like a shorter video because it's the last sort of thing I need to do before starting out the final battle. Okay, what you're going to want to do here is go on in and talk to Dr. Henry. Is there something else I... Uh, I found the chewed stealth boy. Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is crap. More importantly, this explains why there's only one avenue li... Uh, what are the risks? Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason. Lily already has a pre-existing condition. Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she... I've told her. Okay, I'm going to go talk to Lily and ask her to help. Man, I can't believe that this is finally almost over, though. Not far from the end. Just finish up this quest in For Auld Lang Syne, and then finish up the final battle. And that's going to be it. Jimmy! Okay, do you still want to help Dr. Henry? Of course. Okay, you're going to help out? Fine by me. A little bit of backtracking here, but not a big deal. It'll be kind of nice, though, once I can, you know, complete the game and then I can go off on my own uh, with a slightly different save file right before the final battle and just play around in the game, go ahead and get the remaining challenges and stuff. The equipment is hooked up and re Go ahead and start. Ready? All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Lily isn't here. There she is. How are those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero. That can't possibly be right. Yeah, Calamity is a ghoul. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. Must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Uh-oh. Well, well, congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stuff. Uh... 
what do you do in the wasteland affects all the immunes here, but you didn't think about that, did you? No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well. Okay. We've diffused the situation correctly. Let's speak to Dr. I Henry. I work with the Nightkin. I got a lot of... It's occurred to me that this brief test... I uh, use neuroriptide simulators on a Night Stalker brain. That's... Cool. Okay, that quest is completed. However, is there something else we still I have one more thing to do. I'm intrigued, so I'll go to... Oh, you'll need my word from the past phrase to get into the book. Okay, so... That's all we're gonna need to head off... Doc oh, Henry always... Okay. Blah, 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 blah. I don't really care about what you have to say today. So, with that, guys, all we have left to do before starting the final battle is to go ahead and uh, finish up talking to the Enclave Remnants. That will be done in the next video. And then... Once we do that, we'll do You'll Know When It Happens, which will take another video. And finally, we will complete the game with the final battle. So guys, nearing the end, I'll see you guys next time.